Well, hello into people, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well, and this is the last video of 2018. What a year 2018 has been for me and for this channel, and I hope you'll indulge me by just reflecting back on everything that's gone on in 2018. But before I get into that, really I want to thank all of you guys who have supported this channel, supported me over the last 12 months. Without you guys, there wouldn't be anything. Like this would just be a dead channel in the dark abyss of YouTube. So if you've been a part of my journey in 2018, or even before that, I just want to say thank you. But if you are brand new and you want to learn a little bit more about autism, then consider subscribing to the channel and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. But anything I mention during the course of this video, because there'll be a ton of stuff, it'll be down below for you guys to check out afterwards. And the first thing that I really thought about, and I thought was really significant, was getting this camera. The first video I filmed in 2018 was a creator shout out, like I picked out some creators. That video was filmed on my Motorola. <sighs> it's funny, all the videos in 2016-17 were filmed on this thing. Now getting this camera for me was a massive moment in the whole aspect of me being a creator because I don't know, I have so much more control now. I mean, I remember with the Motorola, I couldn't actually see what I was filming. Like, I couldn't see myself. Now I can see myself, and damn, I look beautiful. Ooh. Oh, look at those bags. Oh, look at that spot. Oh, look at how greasy and unappealing my hair is. Oh. <laughs> I've made so many videos with this camera, and actually, the next point I want to talk about, the next highlight of my 2018 was World Autism Awareness Week. I took the time to film seven to eight videos for an entire week to raise awareness of autism and just talk about experiences and different aspects and stuff like that, but that week was very significant because it led to a lot of the other things that happened in 2018. It was a lot of hard work putting out videos every day during the course of a week, but I really enjoyed it. During the course of that week, a lot of amazing things happened. Firstly, I made a video reacting to Diverted, which was a film put out by the National Autistic Society. Like, that was the first interaction that I had with the society. And for them to approach me after someone recommended me, I'm going to be talking about them in a second. Like, that was an absolutely fantastic thing that happened. And also what happened during World Autism Awareness Week was I was a part of We Are Autism, which was a video made by Connor Ward. It was a semi-parody of his first video and, can I be honest, it was just really amazing to be asked to be a part of that. So, Connor, I'll say again, thank you very much. But that video did amazing, like on Facebook, it, I think it has something like 500,000 views or something like that, I don't know, someone's probably going to have to correct me. But for me to be a part of something like that, along with other people who were involved in that video, who I really do admire and I consider to be friends, it was just really, really nice. It was, it was awesome. That's the only way I could describe being a part of We Are Autism, so. Away from YouTube, me and Nicola finally settled on a venue for our wedding, which is going to be happening in April 2020. There's still a lot to do, there's still a lot to plan for, still a lot to pay for, but yeah, I'm really happy that this year we've been biting the bullet and getting stuff done with the wedding. The venue Bowburn Hall, which we've picked, is an absolutely beautiful venue, and I'm really happy that we're going to get married there because it is truly, truly beautiful and the staff are great, so. And also around that time, guys, I was asked to be an ambassador for Chewy Gem. It was mental to me that I was even asked by a company to represent them. Nothing like that had ever happened to me before, but I'm really, really, really happy that I got asked. But I want to quickly thank the guys at Chewy Gem. You guys are fantastic. Please keep doing what you're doing because it's just absolutely amazing. The community at Chewy Gem is fantastic and it's just great to be a part of that, so thank you guys so much. Speaking of the society, actually, I became a content creator. And as a content creator, this year I did a little blog post just talking about Autism Hour and why Autism Hour is such an important thing. Like, Autism Hour, if you don't know, is the National Autistic Society's campaign that they run every single year, trying to make shopping experiences more inclusive 
I fully supported it and I still do. I feel like shops, shopping malls, places like that could be way more inclusive than what they are. However, I feel like the society's done really fantastic things this year and to be in some way a part of it, in a small way, it was just fantastic. Also, back in May, I made a video for Mental Health Awareness Week. I made a video about self-harm, the fact that I used to self-harm, and just talking about how I started self-harming and stuff like that, like, for obvious reasons, that video was a really tough video for me to make. It's not something I actually ever talked about to people, like a very select few people even knew about it. But I just said to myself, do you know what, it's Mental Health Awareness Week, it's a time to just open up and talk about things and I just felt it was the best time to talk about it. Really, just thank you guys for all of your support on that video because it meant a lot to me personally. But then we get into June and June was a massive turning point for me for this channel because in the past six months or so I was making random content like I wasn't really focused on one particular thing or you know I, I didn't have a set area but June was very significant for me because I turned 26 I also went to the Birmingham Autism Show which was the first autism show I had ever been to I finally got to meet Connor I finally got to meet Katie who I'm an admirer of got me says that weekend was absolutely amazing and absolutely terrible the train down was absolutely horrendous my bank card actually got stopped because there was some fraudulent activity or whatever so I couldn't use my bank card just that whole weekend was amazing and just stressful but the one thing that I took away from it was that there's so much positivity about autism. It made me realise that I gotta do more videos talking about autism, talk about my experiences, put myself out there to try and help others. That weekend is a weekend that I'll never forget. It was that significant for me. Also, while I was down in Birmingham, I got to meet and collaborate with Connor Ward. We made a video for his channel, we made a video for my channel, making stuff for our YouTube channels. It was just a really great afternoon. It was one of the funnest collabs I've ever done, actually. So thank you very much again, Connor, for doing that. It was a really great afternoon. A couple of weeks after the autism show, I went to Scarborough with my fiance. Now, Scarborough is a place that's very close to our hearts because that was our first holiday away as a couple. This year, going away to Scarborough was absolutely fantastic. I had never felt so relaxed in my life. It was just a fantastic few days away. Once I got back from Scarborough it was full steam ahead with the content that I am now known for, the autism content, talking about the different aspects of being autistic and just my experiences and sharing them with you guys. Because me switching it up has just made this year even more brilliant. I was in a Daily Mirror article talking about what it's like being autistic. Uh, that whole article came about because of the society. The society were very kind and just frankly amazing to put my blog about Autism Hour on the main site, like on their front page of the website and the people at the Daily Mirror saw that and then contacted me. Even though the title of that article was very clickbaity, a lot of people who watch me now found me through that article and through the five things not to say to autistic people which was embedded on the website. I had so many messages, so many emails and stuff just thanking me for what I do with the channel. It was just honestly surreal, <laughs> firstly because I had never received any kind of attention like that. It completely and utterly blew me away, like the response and just people contacting me saying like, you know, you are amazing, keep doing what you're doing, like just all of the positivity that came from that article was just fantastic. Uh, other things that happened, I moved twice in the space of a year, I moved from my parents house, got a new job down where Nicola lives, so I moved back in with her to our mums and then we got this place. But it's just been fantastic and we're spending our first Christmas together in our new place. In our own place. 
we're glad just to be free of everything we can just do whatever we want to do and you know it's been great it's been fantastic and then one of the last highlights of 2018 was that I got to meet a couple of officers from Durham Police um, Lisa and Chris who are doing such amazing work with the Durham Constabulary Autism Association. Now, I found out about this association back in September, October, I think it was. I looked into what the association was doing and I was like, that's really fantastic. And I was thinking, it would be nice to do something more locally. Like, it's fantastic and I really do appreciate making stuff for YouTube and it's more of an international thing. However, I think in a lot of respects, you know, this is my community. I feel that where I live in the northeast of England is so far behind when it comes to autism awareness. So to do something a little bit more local and to try and improve the lives of people in the northeast where I live, I couldn't say no to that. And I reached out to them and said, oh, look, if you ever wanted to work on anything or want me to help you guys with anything or vice versa, just let me know. And because of my interactions with the association, Chris and Lisa asked me if I had any videos talking about what's like being autistic and just living with the condition and I said I didn't have any videos like that but I'm more than happy to make a video. Do you know what? I did it. I made a video for them and for them to use for training purposes for the officers in Durham Constabulary and now I said to them, look, you can just keep the video and just use it whenever you, you're doing a training session. And Chris and Lisa were so appreciative of me giving them the video, but it's just like, that's what I do. You know, this channel is here to help autistic people and also people who have autistic people in their families. So guys, this year, 2018, has been fantastic. It's been amazing it really has and it's just been one of the best years of my life and you know just everything that's happened just I want to thank you guys again just thank you for all that you've done for me this year thank you for commenting thank you for just being a part of my journey in 2018 2019's got a lot to live up to but yeah I think we can do it Thank you guys so much for joining me, but if you did enjoy the video, then definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on that notification bell, stay you, stay indie, I hope you've had an amazing 2018, and I'll see you all next year in 2019. See you later guys.